Hi folks. Hey there. If you're here, you've made another terrible mistake on yet another Tuesday night. Why do you keep doing this to yourself, you guys? Why make bad choices? Yeah, come on. Make better choices. You got you got better things to do with your time, I'm sure. Than hang out here with us. Yeah. No, we're okay. Yeah, I'm okay. You're okay. Yeah. I'm a putz. But uh, let's see who's in the chat. We got Wheels. We got Trev Wilson. We got Andrew Sporell. All good names. All wonderful supporters of the channel. Thanks for being here. Mm, thank you so much. Tonight is Manhattan night here at the O'Mara Coleman household. I don't know why I'm here because I we were discussing this earlier and I was like, most of the ingredients of a Manhattan are things I don't like. Okay, well, well, first let's go over what's in a Manhattan. Okay, that's all you. Okay, so rye, rye whiskey, Hate traditionally, it. traditionally rye whiskey, then bitters. Hate it. Then um, sweet vermouth. Hate it. And finally, you garnish with a cherry or lemon twist. You could also do a lemon twist. I do like lemon twists, like but lemon we don't twist. have those. We don't have those. We have cherries because I like cherries. Which I hate. Yeah. But okay, give it a taste. For I made you one. You like Michter's rye. Yes. You enjoy Michter's rye. That's true. So. And you kept fewer bitters and there's no cherries. So. Right. And there's, I took the cherry out for you. Yes. Took the cherry out for you. All right. Uh, Mark G asks, where's my poncho? The poncho stays off for, for non non-advent related episodes. That is strictly for holiday festivity making. Um, yes, no, and the punk sweater. I said I was gonna wear the punk sweater till January. I mean, you could go put it on. I could go put, do people want me to go put on the punk sweater? I was gonna, I was gonna keep that strictly related to our Christmas, Christmas content. This is not a Christmas stream. This wasn't a Christmas stream. This is just us hanging out, drinking, drinking cocktails stream. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, ben Eves, Ben Eves is in. Um, who else? Travis Wallard is in. Good to see you. I think I already said hi to Trev Wilson. I didn't say that Mark G was in, but Mark G is in because I answered a question from him. We love us some Mark G. Uh, okay. What do you think? It's not terrible. It's not terrible. That's like glowing praise from you, huh? That's true. All right. It's almost a little too sweet, which seems odd for me to say. Really? Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, I don't know. See, I was thinking that Mictors, because that Mictors is a pretty sweet rye. Mm -hmm. It's a pretty sweet rye in the first place. Yeah. So, like, putting that sweet vermouth in it kind of probably amped that up quite yeah. a bit. I'm curious what rye we'll try next, slash if we'll just replace it with bourbon. Well, I'll make one now. Okay. I'm going to make one now. What rye are you going to use? I don't know. What rye should I use? No rye. No it's rye? rye. I think I'm going to reach for a little bit of... Lot 40. That one's gross. Well, let's see. Let's see. Maybe you're going to like this one now. Um, now that it's got some sweetness in there, huh? Maybe. We'll see. Sugar. Ba, ba, be, da, be, ba. Try not to get a copyright strike. Ba, ba, be, da, ba. Uh, okay. Oh, I just realized it's out. I was like, what's going Are you having a stroke? <laughs> <laughs> I've been having a stroke since I was eight. You were eight? <laughs> My entire life has been one continuous stroke. That's just why the way I, the way I am. Uh, um, this is the quality content y'all signed up for. <laughs> yeah. Um, ben Eves says he makes it with Lilit Rouge rather than mm. rather than vermouth. What is Lilit Rouge? Lilit Rouge, if I remember correctly, is like an aromatized wine liqueur. Mm. Yeah. Interessante. Yeah. Kind of like an aperitif. Mm. Not that I drink a whole lot of aperitifs. You don't drink that many cocktails. I don't. I really yeah. don't. I drink ev most everything I drink. It's I drink beer meat. or straight liquor. Yeah. Yeah. And the beer only because we get a lot of free beer from work. Yeah. You should try more cocktails. They're nice. Yeah. Um, Erica is actually getting really sick of me bringing home certain beers. It's I specifically want you to stop bringing home IPAs. <laughs> we have it's very so, specific. We have so many free IPAs. And That's I feel like, like I'm the one drinking them the most. Cause like I'll turn on football 
and drink them then. I'm like, okay, if I'm already too drunk, I guess I'll have an IPA. <laughs> so I'm putting a little extra bitters in mine. I'm putting like five dashes of bitters in mine. That's two. How many bitters did you put in mine? Three. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, it's fair though. Well, that's the thing. We have like most of what we sell at the liquor stores these days is geared toward the, uh, what do you call it? The kind of hipstery, hipstery beer crowd. Yeah. Like, and right now they're super into hazy IPAs. Yeah. They're haze bros, man. I'm a haze bro. That in milkshake IPAs. Those are. Those hurt my stomach. They, yeah. I feel like you brought a couple of those, and I keep thinking they'll be sweeter, but they still just have the bitterness, and it tastes like you, like, tried to chase it with cake, and it didn't work out. There was one that actually had cake in it. Yeah, I remember. It didn't taste good. Yeah. I don't know, man. Not for yeah. me. Not my thing. Uh, mm. The lactose really upsets my stomach. Jeremy Sims said, first of all, phrasing on the stroke thing. I thought that, but I was like, this is a queen, a clean quality content channel and we don't make those kind no, of jokes. No, we're past six minutes. We can make those kind of jokes. Then, what, what did I say? Uh, you said your life has been one continuous stroke. And you said phrasing. I thought it. So thank you for saying it. No, no, it's not just one stroke. Nope, I we're stroke not. Your mom watches forward, this sometimes. And then I stroke Your mom backwards. could be here. Your mom could be mom, here. Mom, get off the stream. You don't want to watch this. Too late. <laughs> All right, well, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to put a brandy cherry in this. This is the uh, old, fa well, these are actually old fashioned cocktail cherries, but I'm using them because they're branded cocktail cherries from Copper and Kings. I actually kind of want to try one of the brandy cocktail cherries. Yeah, let's do it. Let's you do have some. to eat the cherry though. I'm okay with that. Okay. Yeah. I like cherries in an old fashioned though. But you, you're not sure you're going to like it here? Yeah. But and old fashioned's already really sweet. Get on out of there. Because though, I make fella. them the Wisconsin way with brandy. With okay. That's I'm just going to pick up the stem. Okay. I'll just get you one. Yeah. I was trying to not I'm get not... my hands dirty, but okay. Whatever. I thought you were worried about your fingers injuring or drink. I was like, I'm not <laughs> concerned. You're not that concerned. No. Um, yeah, no. So okay. Yes, we do make we do make old fashions with brandy because that's the right way to do the it. The way God intended. God in God came down from on high and said to the people of Wisconsin, Go forth and drink a brandy old fashioned. Yeah, yeah, just like that. Exactly. Um, and he also said, "Do it with lots of cheese." Mm -hmm. We'll put cheese in just about anything. Oh god! And anytime somebody like from another state makes the things with cheese, we're like, "That's not enough cheese." It's not enough cheese. Like your guys' cheese curds are wimpy. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Breakfast burritos? No, not enough cheese. Why even try? Right. Uh, Trev Wilson says, "I actually dislike whiskey cocktails. I prefer sweeter tiki cocktails." Same. That's fair. That is fair. I like my whiskey neat, but I love a good pink drink. I love a good uh, rum-based cocktail. Yeah, I will. I will drink the crap out of a daiquiri. Ooh, I do. You mean a rum Rita? A rum Rita, as as the people at what was that Southwest, Southwest Airlines say? Yeah. Yeah, they're they're horrible. They're not because they're great to fly. I don't know if we shouldn't give glowing praise of certain airlines, but I like them. Yeah. Endorse us, Southwest. Yeah. Technically, I wouldn't feel bad about taking a Southwest sponsorship. We're never gonna, we're never gonna review Southwest. I will. I, will. <laughs> I have nothing bad to say, except for that they took away. Okay, never mind. It was gonna be a very direct niche complaint. Go so for it. That's what this is all about. Southwest is terminating their uh, direct flights from Milwaukee to Laguardia beginning in April, and I have a friend who lives in New York, so that's very problematic for me. God damn them! I know. What am I supposed to do? Take another airline? Ah. Gross. Or go to JFK with the Irish? Jeez, what do they think I you are? I don't think they have direct flights to JFK. <laughs> I've never looked. Why would I fly somewhere that's not LaGuardia? <laughs> it's just closer. Why would I go to Jersey? Uh, 3,000 or 30,000 feet whiskey reviews would actually be great. That's true. Let's go on Let's go on a Southwest flight. Whenever we fly somewhere next, we're going to do reviews at, in, in of their little bottles. That would be the worst. I would hate us. Oh, that'd be funny, though. No, there's going to be some lady with a baby in front of us. I'm like, my baby can't sleep. And it's like, give him some whiskey. <laughs> Rub some bourbon on his gums. That's for croup. It's for whatever, man. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Whiskey will put babies to sleep. Mm. Whiskey, use it to raise your babies. Yeah. Southwest, endorse <laughs> us. <laughs> 
the Rocket Review sponsors is like has like a little thing on the side of the Southwest plane, like all our pilots are drinking rock content. <laughs> where'd, the, where'd the cat for this go? Oh, you've been fiddling with it? Yeah. Please please give it back. Okay. Okay, thank you. I'll play I'll, with uh, it. I want to spill this. Okay, well, that's your problem. Uh, most John is in. Good to see you, buddy. I'm probably seeing these way late, to be fair. Maybe. Um, Travis Wallet says... People in Wisconsin know any candy bars. We eat bars with cheese. Both are true. That's kind of true, actually. I mean, that's what you can eat handfuls of just shredded cheese. Yeah, or cheese sticks. Yeah, I once. So when my niece was like three, I put her down for like a nap, and I went over to another room, and I like all of a sudden, like an hour later, I just hear like the tittering of feet. Just it's her running to the kitchen. I'm like, hello, and she's like, don't worry, and then I just hear. She runs back to the other room. So I come back to the room and I just see her with like a bag of cheese. <laughs> I'm like, what you doing there? She's like, you know, I'm a cheese girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Odd snack for a three year old, but okay. Raise them young. Start them young. Get them going. Yeah. All right. You want to try the lot 40? No. You're not going to like it. Let me try yours. Okay. I'm scared to even like taste it now. I'm going to smell it. Oh, yeah. I don't hate it. Oh, okay. I'm surprised. I took the smallest slip. That's, that's a little more hard. That, that one's very sweet. Yeah. Yeah. That one's a little bitter. It makes me feel like I work in advertising in old New York. Mm -hmm. I don't know if drinks can give you a feeling. They can. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. We gotta sell those cigarettes to the children. Yeah, so like, yeah, gotta get those five year olds. In old New York, old Manhattan, of course, it's just cigarette, just, yeah. mm, yes. Old New York was once New Amsterdam. The uh, cigarette is flying directly into a baby's face because it's old New York. <laughs> no, no, you're using the baby's soft spot as an ashtray. This got dark. <laughs> no. And then, and then he has to go work in a, no. in a textile mill. <laughs> A history lesson from the Rock Gut Review. Okay, but actual history. I was meaning to start out with the actual history of the Manhattan. Yeah. Wait, side note before oh. we get there. Um, Trev Wilson wants to know, do you call it a water fountain or a bubbler? If it's the thing you drink from, it's a, it's bubbler. a bubbler. If it's the thing you throw coins in to make a wish, that's it's a, a water, water fountain. fountain. It's not it's that just hard. the way it is. Yeah. Now go. Oh, well, no, I have a thing about that. I will <laughs> accept. I will accept drinking fountain if you're from out of state. You can say drinking fountain. Okay. But... A water fountain is specifically the thing birds bathe in. Okay. Yeah. I don't believe birds should exist. So I don't have no, a... That's fair. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah. So the history of Manhattan mm -hmm. was actually... Okay. It was invented at the Manhattan Club by a guy named Ian Marshall. Okay. He was hosting a party for this... I, what was her name? Like Sophia Jerome. She was the Lady Randolph Churchill. Okay. So... Randolph Churchill was the father of um, Winston okay. Churchill of, of World War II fame and also of being a bulldog fame. Um, okay. And then, so the lady, the lady Churchill was like, I need a cocktail for my fancy dress party. That's not how an English woman would talk. It is. Uh, it's that. But then, yeah, so he, she was like, make me something. And he came up with the Manhattan and became the, the great Manhattan cocktail. Yes. Yes. Clink. And, clink. And we're going to do a couple variations on this. We got a couple more glasses because in turn, then that became, it became the Rob Roy, mm -hmm. which was the Scotch version of the Manhattan cocktail and the Patty cocktail, which is the Irish, Irish whiskey. whiskey version of the Manhattan cocktail because people can't can't name cocktails with conjuring up without conjuring up ethnic stereotypes. I was trying to think of a drink that didn't, and then I just felt under pressure. <laughs> a uh... screwdriver doesn't have any any yeah. ethnic overtones. Yeah. That's yeah. something. Rusty nail, as far as I know. Anything with orange mimosas, mm -hmm. orange juice, the safe cocktail mixer. Yeah, yeah. And Arnold Palmer. Eh, I feel like he's a walking ethics 
<laughs> I don't know. I don't know anything about Walter Palmer. He's, He's probably golf. a very nice guy. Okay. He's just a dude who plays golf. I don't. I, there's no reason for that joke. Okay. I'm just being an ass. <laughs> What's the one that, like, you hate the naming of it? Is it Black and Tans? Black and Tans? Yeah. Because it's named after a British paramilitary. That's the one. Yeah. Yeah. It's named after, like, a British paramilitary who murdered and raped their way across Ireland in the 1910s and 20s. Bad name for a cocktail. Not a great name for a cocktail. And that's that the part, the part, that, the fact that it, they named it after that isn't that great a great a thing. Yeah. But the fact that then Irish Americans here in the States drink that every St. Patrick's Day are like, I'm going to drink a black and tan. It's like, that's the part that kind of makes me angry. Because a bunch of Irish Americans know nothing about actual history. You're Irish American? I know, and I'm an idiot. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're half Irish American. Mm -hmm. um, my great aunt, my great aunt would used to introduce me to to people by saying, this is Eddie O'Mara still well. He's not even that Irish. <laughs> Great ants. Gotta love them. Hmm. Anywho. <sighs> um, but yeah, someone also, I think it was Ben Eve said we should make Rock Cut Review baby pacifiers. Is there a market for that? There's a market for anything, man. I mean, but like a market of one isn't a real market. We put it, no, we, you put a little aerosol canister in the bulb. And it, it like every, every like five minute, it, it does a little uh, mist of bourbon or like a mist of old Thompson straight into the baby's mouth. I don't want to get behind that. <laughs> I have my moral line. A man got to have a code. Man got to have a code. That's a wire reference. Yep. Yep. Like a 40 degree day. More wire references. More wire references. All right. Stay tuned for more wire references without <laughs> context. Uh, John Gunsel is in the chat. Ahoy, hoy. Ahoy, hoy, chums. Um, yeah, I don't know what we have to talk about tonight. Shush! Don't don't ever let see you let them see you sweat. Just keep talking. I'm not sweating. Just I'm never, just pointing out. Never stop talking. Look at my fancy cocktail. It's covered by my fingers. The problem is, is when we do like little samples, we can like drink them pretty quickly. These sure. cocktails are taking a little while. Let's just get blitzed and start ra uh, ranting about stuff. Let's get blitzed. I was joking. I haven't eaten that much today, so I can't do that. No. Yeah. Jeremy Sin says. Uh, Shouldn't it be a burst of Southern comfort because it's a Southern thing and comfort? There you go. I'm gonna. I want to make my own version of like Southern comfort where it's baby comfort. Ba baby comfort. Eddie Ed O'Mara's baby comfort medicinal tonic for the youngins. Anyway, <laughs> uh, my whiskey didn't said he started rewatching The Wire because of you two. Ever since we started dating, I've been saying we should rewatch The Wire. And it just has not happened yet. Why is that? Because there's new things to watch and we watch them together. But that's true. But anything new that we watch is pretty much something I've already watched. That's not true. How many shows are there that we've started together? Good place. Well, nope. now you start good place beforehand. Shh. Shoot. God dang. You're right. Okay. But I catch up and then I watch them with you. That's true. But we could be on equal footing. Of us rewatching The Wire. Okay, let's rewatch The Wire. Okay, he this says that, and he's not going to do it. The next, the next, the next live stream will just be us watching The Wire in our living room. We can't show you the actual footage of The Wire for the for copyright reasons. It'll just be a camera on us, and you'll have to trust us that we are watching The Wire. Yeah. Uh, Jeremy Sims says, "Watchmen." We do not have HBO. I well, hear it's should, really good. We should get it. I hear that's that here that's awesome. I hear it's great. Yeah. And I love Regina King. So Oh, Regina King's great. Yeah. She was Huey and Riley on this the Boondocks. As long as also other roles, but yes. I mean, I know there I know where there were other important ones. Those but are, those are the, the ones you know the most. Yeah. Yeah. No, she looks awesome. She does. Her costume looks cool. Looks pretty legit. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I have had some spoilers about who Hooded Justice is, and it's a pretty cool storyline. I don't even know anything about that. You're going to love it. You're going to think Let's it's... Let's get HBO. Yeah. Well, you're going to love it. You're going to hate it because it's 
fucking terrifying. But it's you're also gonna love it because it sounds like a great story. Let's hear. All right. So here's the thing. I did promise everybody that we were gonna be doing these with a secret rotten ingredient. I'm not gonna make Erica drink that. Okay. Okay. I prom- I, I promise you. Like, yet another time I have been betrayed. This uh, stream is just the slow breakdown of our relationship. Yeah, it kind of is. Pretty sure Jeremy Sims commented on one of our Advent videos saying that you probably just stand there watching me disappointedly. I mean, that's every day. <laughs> Damn. These uh, Copper and Kings cherries are so good. Do you want mine? Yeah. Give me that. Like It actually tastes like a for real cherry pop tart, but fruit. That's delicious. I wish I liked cherries. I know. This is really good. I will say, though, retail on these was $13. That's insane. Wait, do these not have pits? No pits. Okay. I was like, why have you not spit yet? Okay. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm just swallowing them. Yeah, I, I was I, very I, concerned. I eat the pit hole. Um, ben says, watch it. You guys watch The Watchmen. Who watches the watchers of the Watchmen? You do. That was an easy mystery. (laughs) (laughs) Which is especially funny because the show actually has a show within a show. So we're watching the Watchmen watch the Watchmen. That's too much. Yeah. Yeah. Anywho. Yeah. $13 for these. I got them. It's pricey. Yeah. I got them free for for like a deal where if you bought Copper and King's Brandy, you got one of these in a old fashioned mix. I don't know. I don't know. They are very good. Okay. Thirteen dollars, good. Thirteen dollars in a package bundle. In a package bundle, that's different. Okay. Thirteen dollars on their own. That's that's a little heavy. And that's how cable companies get you. Yeah. Yeah. It's true. It's true. That's how the character cable from Marvel gets you. You got to pay to get shot. It's really it's a really bad deal. Just like, hey, fifty dollars. And you're like, for what? And then he's like, just give me the money and you'll find out. And then you get shot. <laughs> I don't I don't know. <laughs> imagine you lived with this. <laughs> <laughs> hey, mash and drum. Hey Dustin, how you doing? All right. I think we ought to make a let's make a Rob Roy real quick. Okay. And how about a a patty cocktail too? Okay. Let's, what let's, scotch and what Irish are you Well, I'm thinking we should try. Let's try a smoky Manhattan, huh? Okay. Let's do, let's break out some Kill Holman. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Madeira Finish. Okay. You want to do the Madeira Finish or do you want to do the Bourbon Cast? Let's do Madeira Finish. Got right. it in your hand. Let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. Oh, it's a neck bar off the top. That's okay. Yeah. That's not the biggest deal. What Irish are you thinking? I don't know. It's going to be a, have to be a little bit of a stronger Irish, I think. To stand stand up in a cocktail because we got some pretty light Irishes in here. Or like a strong sweet, or like yeah. Let's let's lean into the sweet, hey. Okay. Um. Jason Where says. Where did you get this one? I hate that sometimes there are just things that appear in this. Apartment. Oh, chicken cock. We can try that one too. You want you to try that one because that one's kind of fun. That's it's a, a mix. Bourbon and rye. It's a bourbon rye blend. Let's break it open. All right. Let's do it. Oh uh, yeah, so I picked that one up. That one, that one cost us three dollars. <sighs> okay. <laughs> it doesn't cost you three dollars usually. It was three dollars on closeout. Okay. Don't look at me. Okay, I won't. I won't. It's not like everyone else on the internet's looking at you. I don't care if they judge me. <laughs> I do care a lot. We care about your opinions because we we care about you. We scare because we care. We scare because we care. We dare because we care. Dare to stay off of drugs. What? What? As we consume alcohol. <laughs> right. A drug. Yeah, I mean, but it's like, it's one of those legal drugs that like society has turned a blind eye to. Like, like, like caffeine or Oxycontin. Those two are definitely equal. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Erica, there's a dollar to be made. You might as well yeah. you might as well make it. Uh, Jeremy Sen says he's gonna send me a knife for Christmas. I would love that. Fun fact, I own I'm currently wearing one. It's a necklace that is made out of a switchblade. 
<laughs> she does love her knives. I have three of them. She she's way way into knives. Yeah. Um. Someone up. My whiskey den said, "Dare backfired." I have heard that. Yeah. Well, Nancy Reagan was a was a real piece of shit. What a twat. Yeah, she was not great. We're getting dangerously political here. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's just a scientific fact. No, Nancy no, that one, that one is objectively true. Nancy Reagan was a piece of shit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, let's get some Kill Holman. All right. Let's get some Kill Holman in here. So this is a Rob Roy named for the uh, named for the uh, uh, Scottish Highland brigand played by Liam Neeson in the movie Rob Roy. Never seen it. Nah, me Never either. heard of it. Yeah, because it was basically Braveheart, and Braveheart beat the crap out of it. Yeah. Yeah. I've been to Scotland. <laughs> That's all I got. Just in case you were wondering. Yeah. I sure have been to Scotland. Been there. Lowlands, Highlands, done it. Uh, my was Patty says uh, Nancy Reagan did do a ad with Mr. T. I did not know that. What was that like? Was it just an anti-drug ad? Oh, of course it was. Okay. So for, for all you people who are Nancy Reagan fans, we're not ragging on her for her other politics, mostly for her drug stuff. We also hate her for her politics. That's just not what we're talking about I right now. the drug now. stuff was kind of related to her politics. <laughs> Let's not go down this rabbit hole. <laughs> uh, get a few Manhattans in me and I'll start talking about anything. That smells really smoky from here. I'm very excited. Yeah. Yeah, let's, let's see what happens. I'll leave the cherry out for... Let's leave it. Let's leave the cherry out and just see how this comes out on its own. Okay. Are we going to share this glass? Yeah, sure. Okay. All right. One Rob Roy made with Kilhoman Madeira. This it smells is very smoky. They're 56.8% version. This is the single cask release from Specs. Oh, yeah. Look at that. I like it. I don't necessarily love it. No? It's a sweet and smoky feel, but... You love Sweet and Pete. I know. Sweet and Pete. Sweet and Pete. Right on the fist. The knuckles. Mm. But that actually... Wait, no. There's one extra letter there. I'll spell sweet wrong. How would you... How would... I don't know. <laughs> but I'll get there. What if you did... I'll you... grow an extra finger. You could do E, you could put the E and the T on, on one, like here, and then I'll just, Sweet and Pete. I'll just fold my thumb a bunch. Sweet and Pete? Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> what if I, okay, I'll do it like on my biceps. There you go. There you go. That actually be really cute. That would be ridiculous. Could I you, already have one could ridiculous you do tattoo. Sweet and Pete? Hmm. I do not feel Very comfortable the with the tattoo artist being in my bosom. <laughs> no, that's fair. Yeah, I get that. I don't. I don't blame you for that one. Yeah. What, what do you think of that one? It is smoky and sweet, but I feel like the flavors don't blend the way I want them to. I wonder if a dry vermouth would have been better. Mm. Maybe. That's a good question. What do you think? You know what it kind of reminds me of? Yeah. Maybe we should have used the bourbon cask because then the Madeira wouldn't have been in there. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe that's what's messing it up a little bit. I don't know. But it kind of... You remember those scotch, those smoky scotch gummy bears we made? Oh, God. I honestly blocked it out. But yeah, that's what it is. That's something you guys can go watch right now is the, the smoky scotch gummy bears. They turn into like a congealed jelly dessert. Remember how they just sat in our fridge for a while? Oh, they did. Not for too long. Long enough. Young enough, yeah. Yeah. Um, but that's kind of what this reminds me of. Like, it's it's a little overly sweet. And it's like cloy It's like the cloying sweet mixed with the smokiness. Good times. Yeah. Yeah, there's like a, there's an ashy... There's a mix of like ash. There's a sweetness from the whiskey that's a little bit more subtle, and it doesn't quite play nice with the sweetness from the vermouth. Yeah. Yeah. I can, and then I get like the ashiness in the back. Like if the ashiness didn't like 
come together and, and play nicely with the rest of the flavors, it just kind of hung out on its own. It was like, no, I don't like you guys. I didn't come to play nice. I didn't come here to make friends. I don't know where he is. I don't know. America's Next Top Model. I quote that a lot. Yeah. I was really into America's Next Top Model. I watched a lot of that with my mom and sister. That, yeah. and, that and Project Runway. I preferred Project Runway. But Tyra Banks was on America's Next Top Model. But uh, Tim Gunn was on Project Runway. And he was like the first sexy older man I've ever, I ever saw. And I was like, yes. Yes, sir. He don't own, figure it <laughs> he out. He don't own, figure it out. That is another joke from a TV show we saw. Oh, John Gunzel says, popping some plain Jameson at the moment. Has everyone seen my shame on the advent calendar video today? It's going to get worse. The next one's going to be Jameson. <laughs> <laughs> um... Patty says in the ad, Nancy is sitting on his lap in front of a Christmas tree and she kisses him on the head. This feels like a very weird ad. Yeah. I don't. It seems like a very 80s ad, though. I also, I, guess. I also love that the decade that Nancy Reagan was pushing Dare was the same decade everyone was doing cocaine all the time. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to launch into another political rant, but I don't. No, we're good. We're good. We'll, we'll leave it at that. We'll leave it at, we'll leave it at legalize it, man. That's all we're going to say on that, on that matter. I have no stance on drugs, except for Nancy Reagan. Um, yeah, I'm kind of disappointed. Yeah. I feel like drinking that go home and just on its own would have been better. That's kind of what I want. Like, I just smell the smokiness. I'm like, give me... Just that. You want to just drink some Kilholman real quick? No, I mean, like, the stream is meant at... You know how I feel about themes. <laughs> We've gone over this. Yeah. If you have a theme, you stick to it. I'm a, I'm more chaotic. I know, and I hate it. <laughs> it stresses me out. I'm going to try putting that cherry in here. Getting that, getting that cherry juice soaking in there. Ah. I'm going to see, like, let's... Let's sweeten it. Just put your fingers in there. That's because I'm gonna get some juice. I'm gonna get some oh. juice, and let's see if this we sweeten it up even more. What's gonna happen? Let's just get wild with this. That just looks like cough syrup. Yeah, it sure does. Can I? Can I shake it? Yeah, go for it. Shaken, not stirred. That is a bad way to make a martini. I know. You oh, okay, well I've spilled. <laughs> Here, I got one. Thank you. There you go. I kind of figured that was going to happen. I believed in myself, and that was a mistake. I believe in you, too, but I also believed that would happen. Then you didn't believe in me, did you? <laughs> what do you think? What do you think? How is it? It's turned a bright red. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's... that's, that's that's fun looking. It's more sweet on the front, but somehow it also brought out the smokiness, but only on the back end. I don't smell any smokiness now. See if you taste it. It's very faint on the back end. It's like sweet, sweet, yeah. sweet. Smoke. I like that better. I don't know if I like it better. I'm, mm. I like that better. That's actually kind of fun. Yeah, the smokiness, it's a ride. There's a little bit of earthiness, and then a whole bunch of sweet. Yeah. And then it finishes out with Sm its actual smoke. Yeah. Like before, I was just getting ashiness and that Madeira cast finish. Yeah. That's all I was getting. Now it's actual smoke. It's a better blend of the flavors. Right. I'll definitely give you that. But why Why is that, though? Science. Why would you? Why would adding sweet, like, make it, like... Science. Science. Science is just magic that is done by people in white lab coats. Yep. And that's why we execute them. And Bill Nye. Yeah. He's a wizard. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Man. Okay. Should I reveal... 
Should I reveal what the secret ingredient is? I'm going to hate it, but yeah, reveal it. Okay. Is it pickles? It's not pickles. No. Okay. You know what it is. I don't. Yeah, you do. If you told okay. me, I forgot. So here's here's what the secret uh, for science always the answer. Exactly. Exactly. So here's what, here's what happened. I, the liquor store I work at, someone came in and just gave us a bunch of old bottles of stuff, including actually one was a bottle of like a dusty bottle of E.H. Taylor before it was Colonel E.H. Taylor. He wasn't a Colonel yet. It was just Taylor. Um, that's how old it was. And the, the manager decided he was going to auction that one off because profit motive or some crap. I don't know, whatever. But I was able to snag two, a couple of really ancient bottles of vermouth. And one super old Greek wine. I thought you poured these out. Oh, fuck no. I poured, I poured out the ones that had been sitting in our fridge. Oh. Yeah. No, these are... So I don't know exactly how old they are. Which is terrifying. Yeah. Um, this. So I looked I looked at the, the labels online. This label has been used since like the 60s up until like the early 90s. Or Great. At least. Great. Um... So that one, that one's kind of, I don't know, could be 30 to 20 years old, somewhere in there. Not sure how old that one is. That was probably only like 10 to 20. It's imported from France, but uh, Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II wine product is on it. Pretty sure Noli Pratt is a British company. Oh. Yeah. Boo. Or Noli Pratt. Noli Pratt. We are the French. Noli Pratt. Okay. Anyway. Um, I want to see, so first I was thinking like wine, right? Wine is meant to, it's meant to age. It ages in the bottle, right? Right. So these probably aren't too bad. These probably aren't, uh, uh, terrible. These are going to be terrible. They're probably going to be terrible because I was, I was reading most wines are not meant to age and vermouth is only meant to keep for a year. Jesus Christ. These are, these are like 20 to 30 years past their past their expiration date. Um, but I'm going to drink them. Why do you live to die? Okay, should we get a puke bucket maybe? <laughs> Just in case. Pass me, pass me that there, pass me that there uh, martini glass. No, you get to sit in your own vomit. All right, it's fine. I'll get it myself. I mean, I'm going to pour it into there. Okay. I regret your choices, even though they're yours. <laughs> You don't have to do this. The cap doesn't look quite right. It looks dead inside. It does look. Don't open dead inside. Doesn't smell terrible. Okay. It's a lot of vermouth. You're just gonna drink straight vermouth? Yep. We're gonna see we're gonna see what this tastes like. I've been I don't know what this we is. Well, you're gonna find out by secondary secondary experience. All right, let's all watch this. Let's see where it goes. It doesn't smell right. You don't have to drink it. No, I have to drink it. No, I've, you don't. I've decided that I have to drink it. It's not smell right. It does not smell right. This one. Okay, wait. Let's compare it to a to a current vermouth real okay. quick. Okay, that one smells a lot spicier. Just way less. I'm gonna check that out. Yep. Yep. And not quite so vomit inducing. Benjamin Eve says peer pressure, drink it all. Why do you all encourage him? All right, Benjamin, here we go. Do you don't have to drink it all? Don't drink it all. Please don't. Ed and Eric go to the hospital later tonight. Uh, and might go to the hospital. I'm not following along because I don't encourage these choices. Oh, that's not bad. Okay. Don't look at me in case you bomb it. Try a little. No. No, that's really not bad. The smell is really, really awful. The smell is really, really bad. I don't want it. The smell was like, made me cringe a little. But no, that's actually not horrible. I'm going to make a Manhattan with this. We're going to make a Manhattan with a uh, 40-year-old vermouth. Let's give it a go. You use we a lot, and I don't. It's the royal we. I am of royal lineage. False.
Yeah. That's actually very palatable. I will let you all know if he vomits tonight. It's a little sweet. I it's will a little bitter. His, uh, it's actually a lot hospital. better. All right, let's give this a go. Okay. Chicken cock. Let me let me let me get my hands on that chicken cock. Your mom watches this. I'm put my hands all over it. Your mother. She's not watching right now. She would have told me to shut up. <laughs> she's working on it. <laughs> or like she's gonna watch this later and be like, why are you like this? <laughs> what did I do wrong that my boy acts in such a way? On the YouTube. On the YouTubes. Just because I didn't get held enough as a kid. No, that's not true. I was very loved as a child. And this is what happens when you love your kids. Yeah, this is what happens when you love they your kids. They turn into assholes. They have no filter because they think people will accept them no matter what. Right, that's terrible. Yeah. Raise your kids to have less confidence. If you break them socially, society the, will still break them socially. Right, right. If if you destroy their, their feelings, then society won't have the chance to. Yeah. This is great parenting advice. Give your children liquor yep. and destroy their self-esteem. Yep. Not that hard. That's what adulthood is anyway. That's what adulthood is. Is liquor and destroy self-esteem. So yeah. start them early. They'll probably be well adjusted. They're gonna hit 18 and it's like, man, this ain't this ain't shit. I was ready for this. Yeah. Whatever. No big deal. Only added difference is student loans. <laughs> oh, student loans are the worst. They are. You have none. I have none. Yeah. Because my Bastard grandfather died and left me some money. Only yeah, good. Let's not. Do this. <laughs> <sighs> Somebody said, "Is it because you ate paint chips as a child?" I eated the wall candy. You didn't eat uh, paint chips. You had uh, you smashed those fluorescent lights or whatever. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. After after we my me and my dad were cleaning out my grandfather's house after he he died, and uh, there was there's a big big box of fluorescent light bulbs in the uh, in the basement, and um, my old man was like Eddie, these are too long these are too long to fit in a big garbage bag, um, so could you take this hammer and this cardboard box outside out to the backyard? I need you to break these these fluorescent light bulbs up. <laughs> and I go out, I got the hammer, and I start bashing the light bulbs, and I'm breaking them up, and there's a fine white mist like, floating up into my mouth and, and face. I was like, Daddy, I don't feel so good. The story stresses me out. <laughs> Every time. It is a thing. It is a thing. I'm, I'm not saying it's because of the vermouth. My stomach does hurt a little. Whoa. Who could have seen that coming? But I will press on. I will press on for the edification of all, all of our Rot Gut Review companions. All 12 of them. Yep, all 12. The 12, our 12 apostles. Which one of you is Judas? Who's gonna betray me? Come on now. You, yourself. You're the Judas. <laughs> you betrayed yourself. It's true. Oh, I would be Judas. You have no one to blame but yourself. How you feeling? That's not great. That's really not great. Does it make you feel? I'm just going to smell it. Smells bad. Yeah, it doesn't taste good. It tastes pretty bad. It smells a little bit like black licorice, and that's already a problem. The black licorice, I don't mind, but oh, I hate black licorice. there's something just stale tasting about it. Yeah. There's something really, really stale tasting. Whiskey Tin says it's only a little bit of mercury. Yeah. Yeah, right. They only put a little wood alcohol in it back in the 60s. You're going to wake up blind. Yeah, right. Yeah. Well, no, the, the cure for wood alcohol poisoning is to drink ethyl alcohol. So I'm safe. My blood is like 85% ethyl alcohol. Why am I in this relationship? <laughs> Mike Lizek says, you will betray me before the chicken crock is drank three times. 
Oh my God. Okay, I'm highlighting that quote. I'm highlighting. Come here. Come here, Mike. Yeah. <laughs> Biblical humor. I love it. I really hope your mom pops in for the last 16 minutes, sees only that caption, and then calls you right away. <laughs> no, that's fantastic. That is so good. I love I love a good biblical allegory, man. They're fun. Yeah. Also, this napkin smells smoky. Nice. Yeah. I love you, paper towel. You can't just quote inside jokes and then not explain them. Then that. explain the joke. Okay. This is a really long-winded story about my niece, Allison Gay. When she was like three years old, my brother got sick of like her eating popsicles and like, you know, small children are bad at eating things. So like they melt too fast. So what we would do is we would cut up the paper towel and like put it on a napkin and she would like pick up the little pieces. So one night I'm getting ready for bed and like she's eating a popsicle. And I'm just like, whatever. Good night. Love you. And then so she doesn't even look at me, takes a long pause sucks some of the juice off the paper towel and says, I love you, paper towel. Because my niece is cold hearted. Kids are cold, man. They are. Kids are cold as the dickens. She knew what she was doing. Oh, yeah. I love you, paper towel. And it's become a running joke in our relationship ever since. In all fairness, I did steal Hershey's kisses from her. Oh, I forgot about that. I'm going to wait till she's like 17 and tell her. Don't. I'm going to do it. Not even my brother knows that. Now the whole internet knows. Yeah, but they don't know my brother, so it's fine. <laughs> they don't know my brother or my niece. Uh, yeah. I uh, I made my niece like have a full-on crying fit because I didn't think she could count. <laughs> she didn't think she could count, so she took her Hershey's kisses. I went in the fridge. There were like more than, du- like, more than two. So maybe, let's say maybe like 12 Hershey's kisses. And I took two because I was like, whatever. She can't count. It'll be fine. Like an hour passes. I just hear screaming. (laughs) And my brother goes in the kitchen. He's like, Maya, what's wrong? Just someone ate my Hershey's kisses. And he's like, no, you're deranged because you're like two and on a sugar high. He's like, are you sure you didn't eat them? She's like, no. (laughs) I'm like, well, let me just sit in silence. Because if I tell her I ate them, she will murder me. Yeah. Yeah. She will stomp you to death with her little baby feet. With her little baby feet. They just learned how to walk, but they are made for stomping. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that is my uh, deep, dark shame. <laughs> is that I will make toddlers cry and not confess to my sins. Yeah, that's fair. Um, sorry, we have not been... We have not been following chat. Jerry Sims says object permanence comes before counting. She would have known. But they were, I wasn't right in front of her. Right, right. That's the trick. Like, it was a close fridge. So, like, those Hershey's kisses sort of stopped existing. <laughs> <laughs> Except she's two. So, like, sugar high means everything. Yeah. yeah. No, those were, those were her most important possessions in the world. I didn't think she knew how many. Like, if they were all the Hershey's kisses are gone, I would get her under, like, she freaking would. out. She's a smart kid. She is smart. She's a smart kid. Too damn smart. Too damn smart. Very proud of her. Was not proud when she started crying because she found out I stole some of her Christmas kisses. Yeah. Yeah. This is the worst Manhattan I've ever had. You could not drink it. Oh, no. We're drinking it. You keep saying we? We. We're in this together. We're we not. Are, we are a couple unit. We're stuck. We're, we're stuck together doing this. And this is why relationships are trash. Because um, you get sucked into your boyfriend's terrible decisions. I don't know if it's because the vermouth is bad. Probably because the vermouth is bad. Good percent. Good chance. Yeah. We're probably gonna pour that out after this after this stream. A hundred percent. Um but also the chicken cock is not doing any favors and covering it up. It's Do you it, care if I just take a straight swig from the bottle? Do it. Do it up. Do it up. The chicken cock is just not strong enough to stand up to the bitters and the uh really, really, really forty year old vermouth. The chicken cock tastes like wheat whiskey. I also hate saying chicken cock. It only refers to a male chicken. Stop it. And his penis. Okay, there it is. <laughs> Jeremy Sims asks, uh, is Ed's life insurance up to date and does it cover stupid? He still hasn't put me on it, so yeah. I don't care. I do have I a healthy life insurance policy, though. What if you just put me as a beneficiary right now? <laughs> 
uh, do I have to like? Can I just say that online? Like, is this my last will and testament that we're watching be, right now? I know a retired lawyer. <laughs> I'm a retired lawyer. I don't know what type of law he practiced, but I feel like that's good enough that I could show this video in court and be like, so Ed owes me his money. Okay. I mean, most of what you're going to get and get is a sh bunch of shelves for, full of whiskey and like one grand. All my other money is gone. <laughs> you said it was a healthy life insurance policy. Oh, no, yeah, that too. Okay. So it sounds like I'm set. All right. Give me that chicken so cock. So say, say to the camera. That I am a beneficiary on all life insurance policies. Yeah, I'm a good beneficiary. Get the chicken cock out of your mouth. Get the, did you say get the chicken cock out of your mouth? I sure did. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, maybe the chickens had a hard day. Why do I come on these? Mm -hmm. That does taste like wheat whiskey. Right? That tastes like wheat whiskey with like the like a little tiny bit of like vanilla eatness. I was gonna say cherry. Vanilla cherry. Vanilla cherry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's interesting. There's really not a lot it's to it. It's not bad. I mean, it's not bad. It's not like it's not like gr exciting. It doesn't have a lot going for no, it. No, it's pretty flat. It's yeah, it's flat. But like it's a good I'm drunk drink. Yeah. Because I am drunk. That's fair. I need to eat food. Let's let's get you some food. Okay, feed me, please. All right. Uh, all right. Before we before we finish up, though, who wants me to taste some of the dry vermouth, the old dry vermouth? Please Sound stop. off in the comments. Please stop. Please make sure he doesn't kill himself until I get on his life insurance policy. You'd be sad if I died. I would, but I would console myself with your life insurance <laughs> my, policy. My life insurance policy. Yeah, I don't think I have a good life insurance policy. You wouldn't get anything. Yeah. That's okay. I am I am like a Ronin. I'm a wandering whiskey man. I have no need for money. Just the barley wine in my mouth and the and the road under my feet. I love the long sigh. That wasn't even like a, a, a bad a bad pun. That was just pretentious. It that still warns the long <laughs> sigh. Ben says I'm drinking the vermouth, so I'm drinking the vermouth. Why, Ben? Why don't you want me to get a sweet life insurance payout for all my suffering? <laughs> all right, let's see. So this is the Noily Pratt. So yeah, this was a French vermouth. That I, if I remember correctly, was bought out by an English company after World War II. Because the Nazis stole it during the First World War or Classic. Second World War, Second World War. Nazis were in the Second World War. Yes, and now. And now, somehow again. <laughs> also, just a message to all the random Nazis who keep popping up on our channel: Please get the fuck off. <laughs> Do we get random Nazis? Oh, yeah, we've been that getting them. I keep deleting sense. their comments, but they keep popping on. Like we keep, get, we keep getting guys with like old Nazi symbols and shit on their on their. Uh, uh, like picture. Don't much care for that. Yeah. Get out, yeah. Nazis. Please leave. Please. We don't. No, not a please. Like, get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. Yeah. Yeah. We love we love people of all political persuasions, except ah! for Nazis and some other political and also groups. like fascists generally. Yeah. Fascists generally. Please get the fuck out. Yeah. But that's why we have moderators, none of whom I think are actually in the chat tonight. No. Um. <laughs> Who's in the chat that's a moderator? I think Trev. No, Trev's in the chat. Yeah, Trev's in the chat. Which I did not know he was a moderator. I made him a moderator, yeah. That's so nice. Also, I'm a moderator. I just don't go do oh, it Oh, I all. forgot that you are a moderator. Yeah. yeah, I never do it. Here, help me get this noily open. No. This motherfucker does not want to open. Yeah, that's God saving me. <laughs> okay, stop. Look how strong I am, guys. You, oh, you are. I go to the gym. Yeah, you do. I have not been in like a week. Good look at you. When I get drunk, I make people touch my biceps. So, <laughs> guess how drunk I am to my biceps. Yeah, good stuff. my girl got muscle. Yeah, I'm strong enough to lift up castle stones. Oh, Jeremy, I'll make you a mod. You're gonna be a mod next. I want, I want you to be my mod. You get to be a mod. You get to be a mod. You all get to be mod. Yeah. Oh, this one doesn't smell as bad. Okay. Check it out. It smells more Twizzlery than black licorice -y. Yeah. 
I don't, I still don't trust it. It's not bad. Like the last one made me retch a little. Okay. This one, this one actually smells like regular old vermouth. Okay. I still will not drink it because I love myself. Because I don't think the uh, beneficiaries on my life insurance policy are up to date. It tastes really bready. Tastes really like kind of stale bread. Okay. Other than stale that, stale bread specifically. Yeah, like stale bread. Okay. Right? Like stale bread has a taste. Stale bread is not the ideal bread, though. No, no, I'm not saying it's ideal. Okay. I'm saying it's better than that one. The, the, the bar the is stock. so low. Yeah, this one's not bad. The bar here. Bar's here. We didn't I'm raise the do. bar. We are the bar. That's a reference to something. Yep. What it what is it a reference to? Our channel. We are the bar. No, it's a reference to wrestling. Okay, that's what I thought so. All right. So turns out 20-year-old dry vermouth, not that bad. Chicken cock, very light, good for drinking when you've already had a few. Yeah. Drink it straight from the bottle. Uh put a chicken cock in your mouth. Stock vermouth, not great. Not great after 40 years. Um, and yeah, Manhattans. They get you drunk. They get you drunk. Especially if you have not eaten lunch today. Yeah, that doesn't help. Yep. Yeah. I'm gonna go eat some soup. This was a mess of a live stream. It sure was. Every I, week. Every week. Every this week. This was a more chaotic mess. This was a little more chaotic. Yeah. We definitely insulted a former first lady. I don't give a shit. <laughs> so did Eartha Kit. So did Eartha Kit. And Eartha Kit's a bad. Eartha ass. Kit's pretty cool. Yeah. So if, if Eartha Kit does it, I'll do it. Eartha Kit insulted Nancy Reagan at the White House, and then in an interview, she. Li I wish I remember the direct quote, but it was basically like, "How is that my problem that she was offended?" <laughs> and that is iconic. <laughs> so, uh, Jeremy Sims says, "Rock good advice. Neck some cock." You gotta, you gotta relax your throat. It goes down easier. Your mom could pop up at any minute. Stop! Don't worry about that. Don't I said it name three times. She's gonna appear. It's like Beetlejuice. I worry <laughs> or about Biggie her Smalls. That'd be funny if he <laughs> <laughs> up here. It's also funny that you called him Biggie Smalls. What else, what would you call him? Notorious B.I.G. No, oh, Notorious B.I.G. Is that his official? Is that his like government name? Notorious B.I.G. We're not doing this. <laughs> <laughs> it's Christopher Wallace. Oh, look who it is. Baxter Belafonte. That beard is coming in. It is. It is. Look at that. Coming in at the last minute. Yeah. Very, very fashionably late of him. Yeah. Just what I would expect from such a luxurious man. I do appreciate that your beard is coming back. Yeah, I, hate I know how baby faced you are. I know. Hey, Baxter, Baxter, are you are you on the jingle the jingle bell brawl card on the fourteenth? Because we'll be there. We're gonna be we're gonna be cheering you on. I hope you're on the card. So yeah, let us know, man. We'll be the ones drunk and annoying. Oh, we're gonna be so drunk. You know how how tall the Elks Lodge pours your drinks? It's great. She didn't know what meat meant, <laughs> so she's just like, "Here's liquor." Yeah, he is gonna be on the card. All right. All right. Good to hear. All right. We're going to finish up. This has been a night of Manhattans and drinking really, really old wine that's probably gone bad. Should I take a neck of the... Uh, no. The, I'm going to take a... To finish out, I'm going to take a neck of this Greek wine. I'm not taking care of you when you're sick tonight. All right. My stomach stopped hurting since I took the uh, second vermouth. Okay. Oh, it's a cork. Oh, no. We can't do it. Good night. Don't worry, guys. Go to our Facebook page, The Rock Cut Review on Facebook. And I will do a quick review of Retzina wine, Greek wine from the 60s. Jim Lehman says, uh, best stream this year. You're a liar, but that's okay. Jim Lehman, wait. Is that Reed's dad? For context, this is his friend from high school. Oh, my God. Hey, Mr. Lehman, if that's you, we, it's good to see you, man. All right. But yeah, Facebook, check us out in like 20 minutes. So, uh, and then you guys make sure until next time, you're going to toast us out. Yeah. You have to drink it if you can toast okay. it. All right. Until next time, stay rotten. Uh, I can't get to the end button. <laughs>